All right, guys, welcome back. It's time for another Comments Corner. This is where I comment on some of your comments, and I thought I, I would keep with the theme of uh, malware, virus, for Windows computers, specifically a crypto locker. I've uh, uploaded a couple videos, but I think for this, I think I'll just focus on the uh, how to prevent crypto locker virus. All right, so let's get to some of your comments. Thank you to those of you who took the time to post comments. All right, Charles Kunkel says, some basic tips to avoid the crypto locker virus. This thing is really bad. Yes, it is. And even if you clean it off, you can lose, you can lose files. So it's, so it's far better not to get it. Mainly for Windows and Mac users, not sure if this can infect a Linux machine. I don't think it can, at least not yet. Uh, best advice, do not open email attachments unless you are sure they are safe and expected. And steer clear of dangerous websites. I would have to agree. All right, Daniel Gossett says, tip number one should be always use your friend's computer. <laughs> well, duh, of course. Good one. Uh, let's see, Marcus9705 says, Malwares can hit the BIOS, and if that happens, a reinstallation will not solve the problem. Yeah, that is technically possible, al although I would imagine hackers would want to attack the actual OS to gain access to your private stuff. If they attack the BIOS, I think that can disable the PC, rendering it useless, making it useless for you and them. I think that's how that works. I'm not sure. All right, Anime Beef Channel 2, hello. I think Chromebooks should run a custom version Android instead of Chrome OS. It would be cool if you can run Android apps on a Chromebook. That does sound cool, actually. All right, Darren Nuttall says, I think 2 is okay. You use, looks like you use Microsoft and anti-malware. They don't seem to clash. Yeah, I think you can use um, Microsoft antivirus um, and a, um, and, um, Malware bytes or super anti spyware together without any conflict. C128D says the best advice for attachments or links in emails is never download or open an attachment or follow a link from any email from someone you don't personally know. Yep. Never download or open attachment or follow a link from any email from someone you know personally unless you have checked it with them and know they they intentionally sent it. All right, a good piece of advice. There's something else here which I did not know. He says, or she says, do not install or rely on Microsoft Security Essentials. Even Microsoft is recommending that you stop using it as they admit it isn't effective enough any longer to be useful. Yeah, it's been a while since I tested um, um, antivirus for my Windows 7. I'm so used to running Windows, or I'm so used to running Linux lately, but I will have to check into that. Uh, thank you for the tip, and uh, let's see, you can run Malwarebytes alongside another AV program. Cool. Okay, let's see, I did say you guys are scaring me, is Avast still good? The paid version, uh, C128D says the paid version is one of the best, Kaspersky is the best of all, the free version is the best of the free ones, but isn't quite as effective as the paid version. Yeah, I think I'll be switching to um, Avast here shortly. All right, Marcus Baird says, thanks, you're welcome. Uh, Marcus9705, if Myth was the most popular, Mint should have, would have been attacked. That's, I think I was trying to compare something. Uh, he says, I suggest to take a look at Stallman, Richard Stallman. I guess this was an interview. I haven't taken a look at it yet, but I will. Uh, let's see, Darren Nuttall says, Brightech09 is a great channel. Cool. Jhack78. That's why I never download attachments only from things I have on my personal whitelist or if I'm sure someone sends me something with prior notice of it. Yeah, the main thing here is be, be careful of unknown email attachments and be careful of certain websites. Ye old grumpy git says some of you may find a web of trust. Okay, I'll look into that. Ironclaw 6969. I seem to remember Microsoft saying you really shouldn't be using security essentials. Wow. Especially since the updates for it are only a couple of weeks. Okay, I will take your advice. And finally, Donna Bender 
says hello. Hello, Donna. All right, well, that's the end of this here. Uh, check out the video. I did post some tips here. Also, if you haven't, uh, one of the top things you should be doing, uh, something, one thing you should be doing regardless of which operating system you use, is to have backups. I have uh, multiple backups on multiple external drives. Uh, I haven't bought one in a while. I haven't needed one in a while, but you may want to check out the Total OS Today shop and take a look at some Casios, or um, not Casio, but Toshiba Canvios. Yes, Toshiba Canvios, sorry. External hard drives. Uh, you have some choices here 500 gigabyte up to 2 terabyte. Looks like currently the 500 gigabyte is uh, $45 and the two terabyte is a hundred dollars well that certainly appears to be a better deal so definitely if you don't have any backup yet you need to back up or cry later as I say finally if you haven't voted please do would you buy a Linux PC three days left the vote when the voting process is over I will have my own special thoughts on the future of the Linux PC or the Linux desktop for the masses after this voting is over. Thank you for voting. All right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for this comments corner. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.